Microsoft Surface Pro. And you are seeing a thinner, sleeker, lighter, more powerful and faster design. This is their uh, QVC launch, I like to say, of the newest Microsoft Surface Pro. And we include all the extras. So what you're seeing here is the Microsoft Surface Pro. And notice that keyboard? That is a separate purchase any other retailer. We include that, as well as the Arc Mouse. That's usually a separate purchase with other retailers. We include it. And we also include a one-year subscription to Microsoft Office and at a great value. Oh, by the way, that blue color, that's a new color in the Microsoft Surface Pro. That's what we're calling cobalt blue. Right next door will be the burgundy. And then we also have a black option for you. The black is already the most limited, about 4,000 to go around in the, four dozen, I'm sorry, four dozen. Okay, <laughs> four dozen, okay, th that's pretty limited. Yeah. Okay, yeah, <laughs> four dozen. Woo. Okay, that's a lot. There's that cobalt blue, <laughs> and then you have your burgundy option. Um, so it's our QVC2 big deal. What does that mean? This is our biggest deal of the day, our best value. So every day at 9 p.m. here on QVC2, we debut a brand new QVC2 big deal, but it expires the next day at 9 p.m. So this is actually going to expire today nice. yep, at 9 o'clock. So you only actually have a few more hours to take advantage of this value. So can we break it on down? Because if you were to pick up <laughs> Microsoft Surface Pro and the keyboard and the uh, mouse and the software all together, you would be spending close to $1,500. Our QVC2 big deal price, that's $1,249 or six easy payments of $208 with change. If you have the QVC Q card, we have a special financing offer just for you. If you make your purchase using the Q card, you can extend your payments over 12 months time. Um, and if you pay it off within those 12 months, it will be interest free. And if you don't currently have the Q card, well, you can apply for one if you're approved, you can take advantage of that 12-month special financing offer. And in addition, you'll get a $20 e-gift card to use towards a future purchase um, by applying for being approved and making that purchase today. All right, with all that said, I want to introduce you to it's Brett Hamilton. On. I know, there's a lot going on. Um, Brett Hamilton, he's been bringing us innovative electronics for many years here at QVC. And this is the latest and the greatest from Microsoft. This is pretty cool. And to the naked eye, I know we don't have a ton of time today, so I'm going to try to get to as much as I can. To the naked eye, this looks like a tablet, right? You look at this and you say, oh, everybody makes a tablet now. What is so different about this? This is not a tablet. The form factor is a tablet. This is a fully functioning Windows 10 computer. A lot of people don't realize that if you go out and you buy uh, another brand of computer, whether it's Dell or HP or Asus or Acer or Toshiba or whatever, they all have the Microsoft operating system inside. Microsoft makes the operating system in all those computers. It makes this computer. They've essentially cut out the middleman and they've given you a, as they say in Boston, a wicked fast computer <laughs> because this is an i5 Intel processor. That's fancy tech speak for no waiting around anymore. No waiting for it to boot up, no waiting for it to work, no waiting for it to connect. All that good stuff packed inside here with something else called a solid state hard drive. I'm going to try to cover all of that for you all right. over the next few minutes. But the bottom line is anything you can do with a laptop, anything you can do with a desktop, you can do with this device and it works like a tablet as well. I also need to point out that this keyboard right here is a nice accessory. A keyboard makes it feel like a laptop, but even when it's not connected, you still have a fully functioning Windows 10 computer inside. So what does all of that mean? That means that if you're thinking about buying a new laptop to replace an older laptop or a desktop, or you've got a computer you like and you think you know eventually you're gonna need a new one, now you're looking at a tablet, you don't have to make the choice anymore. Because now everything you can do with your tablet, you can do here and better. Everything you do with your computer, especially an older computer, you can do with this and better because of everything that's packed inside. So it's a lot to comprehend, but the bottom line is mm -hmm. you don't have to make a sacrifice because many of us have a computer that we barely use anymore because we do most of our fun and our games and all of our, uh, what we like to call work, on a lap or a uh, tablet. tablet. Yeah. Now you can leave the tablet and the computer behind because you have one device that as you can see in that shot right there proves to you is a fully functioning Windows 10 computer. Anytime you see that little interface pop up and you have the ability to go and look at Internet Edge or you have the ability to go and look at videos and, and pictures and all that other stuff, that means it's a computer. Lots of times when you look at a tablet, it can do almost, mm -hmm. almost everything a computer can do. 
this can do it all. All right, so you're not sacrificing anything nope. except for the weight, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a pound and a half. Uh, so very streamlined and lightweight. We're going to take a full tour. We're going to kind of show you around uh, the Microsoft Surface Pro. Remember, this is the QVC launch of this Microsoft Surface yep. Pro here uh, on QVC2. All right, so how exactly, you know, it arrives to us. Sure. How do we get this baby going and how do we use it? Well, as you said, if you buy it at retail, you would only get the tablet. And the tablet itself, the computer itself, has everything essentially that a computer would. And, and immediately you start to notice, wait a second, my tablet doesn't have the ability to be able to plug in a thumb drive. Well, this one does, because there's a USB port right there. My tablet won't connect to a television so that I can look at my videos and movies and stuff. This one will, because this port, oh, sorry, this port right here will plug into an HDMI cable. That cable will plug into your television, and then all of a sudden you've got the smartest of smart TVs. And right here, this little slot, is to charge the device. It's got a breakaway, what they call a breakaway power cord. It's magnetic. So if you set it up to charge and the cat or the dog or your kids run by and hit the cable, they're not dragging it and destroying it by dropping it on the ground. It will automatically detach as a safety. Then you just plug it back in again. This also has a micro SD card slot. And I don't know of any other computer tablet or whatever that's been able to pull that off and do it so well and hide it as well as they do. So if you've got a camera, a Canon camera that's got a photo card or a photo reader in it, now you can look at those pictures and other data in the side of this. But pretty cool how they hit it behind the kickstand itself. And the kickstand allows you to take it and put it essentially in any position that you want when you're using it either as a tablet form or as a computer form. It's got a 12 inch high definition monitor across the front. Mm -hmm. It's got front and rear facing cameras. It also has the ability to take this keyboard and connect it with magnets. Many of you see other, uh, other keyboards that are out there that one, require you to connect them to Bluetooth or connect them to some sort of wireless and charge them and all that other nonsense. No, this is a fully functioning uh, keyboard, little chiclet style, backlit keyboard that again connects using magnets. That's all you have to do. If you can make one grab the other there, the two connect and automatically put it online. So I don't have to charge the keyboard. I don't ever have to, to worry about it losing juice. Nope. It basically is getting its juice from. It takes the juice from here. Very nice. You're like it a juice. <laughs> <laughs> it connects and then it also becomes a backlit, uh, backlit keyboard as well. Touchpad built in, but we're also giving you the mouse right there. Yep. And this arc mouse, this is pretty cool. See how it's in an arc, that's why they call it that. When it's flat, it powers down and saves the battery. Go like that to wake it up. This connects through Bluetooth. It'll take you about two minutes from the time you take it out of the package to connect it to your computer. There are three easy steps in there. They basically say, touch the button underneath, mm -hmm. open up the Bluetooth on the computer, the two will find each other, and this remembers the computer. This remembers your surface. So every time you turn it on and off, it'll automatically reconnect again. Those accessories are included as Always. part of our QVC2 big deal. Yep. Always a separate purchase at other retailers. That's why this is our best deal of the day. All right, but I still find it hard to believe that I'm going to be able to do everything I normally do with my laptop with this Surface Pro. I'm not sacrificing some. anything. Not only are you not sacrificing anything, but I'm going to show you something that you can't do on your tablet and you can't do on your computer. Okay. But you can do it because Microsoft has brought all of the worlds together. The tablet form, the computer functionality, and the touch screen that we want in both because we reach for our phones so often now and you want to tap, tap, tap. You reach for a tablet and you tap, tap, tap. You get a computer and you can't do any of that. Now you can, but we're going to make it one better. So take a peek at my screen here and look at this document. Mm -hmm. So if this document came home and the kids needed to have this permission slip filled out, you'd have to do a bunch of things. First, you'd have to print it. Mm -hmm. Then you'd have to get a pen and fill it out. Then you'd have to hope that either the kids bring it back to school or that you figure out a way to fax it or figure out a way to scan it and email it or you could do this. You could tap on the little pen and you can write directly on the document. So we can put, mm -hmm. there we go. We can let her go to school. <laughs> you can sign this or start using this as you would when you would uh, be in class. Let's say this is your textbook. Let's say you're taking a lecture and you need to highlight. Well, cool. Now my yep. finger becomes a highlighter and I can say, you know what? Teacher said, this is definitely going to be on the exam. And you know what? I need to make some notes. So I can make notes here, and I can make sure I circle this. Everything that I'm doing here, by the way, will save to this document should I choose. Or I realize, wait a second, I want to start all over again. Look at that, your finger becomes an eraser as well. I'll leave that little part uh, highlighted right there. So everything I'm doing on here, it remembers and allows you to share it, to save it, to print it, just like you would with a computer. 
because you can set up all of those devices. You can attach this to a wireless printer. You could plug in a mouse, you could plug in a keyboard, you could plug in whatever you want, just like you would a computer. So great gift idea. This is our holiday gift preview. So think about the college student that maybe says, I've got this old laptop right. and it's just not working well. It's too heavy to carry a back and forth across campus. This is a great gift idea um, and you can start with that easy pay plan, or the best that we offer you, you pay for it, you get it now, but if you're saving it for Christmas time or the holidays, no worries. We've extended our holiday gift return policy. You have until the end of January next year, 2018, if for any instance you need to return an item, including this QVC2 big deal. So think about the student on your holiday gift list. Maybe it is a loved one, the businessman or woman um, that could use a tool like this. This is your work computer. This is your play tablet. All mixed up in one. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about that hard drive. Yeah, and, and most of the time when you hear us talking about hard drives here at QVC, the hard drive is traditionally the digital garage, the storage space where you're going to put all of your information. It's your pictures, it's your videos, it's your music, the recipes, whatever it is that you choose to store. Rarely do we ever mention the fact that the hard drive plays a big part in how your computer operates along with the operating system, right? Mm -hmm. Here's talk about Windows 10, that's the operating system, the brain that's inside. But the hard drive also plays a part in how fast it boots up and how fast it works and how fast it gets from A to B. So if you look at my screen right now, you go, well, that's a blank screen and that's never a good thing. Trust me, when you're on TV and you're trying to show computers that's to somebody, <laughs> this is not what you want to see. Except for in this case, this is a computer, this is my, my, my uh, demo piece right here that I've turned off. And I've turned it off so that I can show you how fast it turns on. I'm going to hit the button right here and I'm going to start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Needs to see my face. Eight, nine, ten. It took ten seconds. It took ten seconds to go from being asleep, not asleep, actually turned off. There's a big difference. If that was asleep, it would have woken up even faster. We're talking about starting a new day. You've powered it down. It was sitting in your mm -hmm. camera bag or your laptop bag or your purse or whatever. You took it out, hit start, and that's how fast it boots up. That's what's called a solid state hard drive. A solid state hard drive has no moving parts. The computer you have at home right now has that spinning hard drive and you hear it whirling and you're like, whoa, why is my computer making noise like a jet engine? Why is it getting warmer and why is it slowing down? It's because it doesn't have what's called a solid state hard drive. Solid state hard drive is like a big magnet. No moving parts means there's less to function. There's not even a fan in here. This thing is so fast and so streamlined, it doesn't need a fan to cool it off which in the past you'd go, wait a minute, can I get a bigger fan? Can I get a more powerful fan? Because my computer <laughs> Remember they were so making like hot. the cooling pillows to put your computer <laughs> on? Did. Like that's <laughs> no joke. You, you know, you'd go out and buy a gigantic thing to put on mm -hmm. your lap, so one, your lap didn't get warm, and two, you'd have an additional fan. None of that is necessary anymore. Mm -hmm. Then on top of it, Intel, probably nobody makes a processor better than Intel, not the bottom of the line, the i5. The i5, again, works with this hard drive and works with this operating system inside here. And that's kind of the trifecta. You got a fast processor, you've got the best of operating systems because it's Windows 10, the most up to date, and you've got a super fast hard drive inside. And when the three of them are clicking like they're supposed to, you can do that kind of stuff. So you don't have to turn your computer on and go find 20 minutes worth of work to do to come, come back, back before you can do your work. Now you turn it on and you're ready to rock. There's so much to talk about with our QVC2 big yep. deal. We've only got a few minutes. Um, Let's talk about Windows 10. Sure. Um, because for many people, they're saying, wait, okay, I know Windows. Do I know right. Windows 10? And is it going to be easy for me to use? The nice part about Windows 10 is it's there if you want it, or it hides in the background if you don't. Okay. And many of you have an older computer and you're used to this screen right here. You don't want to see the icons. You don't want to see all those shortcuts. You just want to see a screen where when it comes time to uh, finding something, you go, you, hit, you click it with your mouse and you open it up. But there's one button right on the keyboard that looks like the uh, Windows logo. And when you hit that button, it essentially opens up your shortcuts. And your shortcuts are there so that you don't have to go searching for your photos. Here are your photos. All right, I'm done with pictures. Now I want to open up a Word document. You click on that. Look how fast it loads these programs. That's Windows 10. That's what's allowing you to do cool stuff like go inside the Windows Store and play a video game. No, I want to do something else. Now I want to go over here and go down and find uh, information about the Surface. Tutorials, good stuff like that. All of it's here, and there's more of it as you go along. Because as you find new stuff that you want to explore, you simply tap on whatever it is, it opens up, it comes to life, and even when it comes to videos, your own videos, or videos that you download, whatever it might be, all that good stuff is inside here, and watch how fast these programs launch. 
Hmm. I went from not having anything open to now having, let's see, we can tell you exactly how much stuff is open. A lot. All right. Got a video playing. And by the way, I know this looks like a tiny little piece of minutiae right here, but this video is playing even though it's not on the screen. That mm -hmm. says something about the operating system. So if you were to have all these programs, and this is barely, barely even scratching the surface, the fact that that video is kind of running in queue in the background and still able to let us go over here and do this, or do this, or go wherever we want to go and not slow down, 